Today we're going to fill a couple of holes in a hollow air ring and we're using extremely thin wire here. This is 0 0.005 inch. The first thing we're going to do is make a little ball on the end of the wire. We'll attach that ball and we have to do it at the proper angles. Get it all to flow together. Needs a little more. There we go. Now one of the holes filled. This one's a little bigger, so it might take a couple of little balls. We're using an extremely fast Hertz here. It's going to bring down our peak pulse power. So we don't pulse more or pop more holes into our work. A little bit more right in here. have to use different angles. When we're finished we're going to hit it with a marker and we're going to homogenize it all together. And a couple more places to fill. Now once it's homogenized, if I see any more pinholes or such, we're just going to fill those in as well. Okay. We're going to take out our trusty marker. I'm going to mark it first. Marking just the high points. And if we don't get good homogenation, well, then we're going to re uh, I think our, rethink our settings. We got some flow there. I'm going to juice it up a little bit. We want all of this to come together as one piece. Remark it. Starting to flow. Okay, we have a few tiny little pinholes we're going to fill and we're going to homogenize again. Here's one right in here. There we 
go. Ooh, one right here. And here's our last pinhole. Okay, if you were wondering about this piece here, there looks like there's a, a little bit of material that might have popped out at an earlier time. And let's hammer that down a little bit. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna change up our settings for a smooth. And this should homogenize the rest of this. And if it opens up any more holes, well, then we know where we need to fix. And it just did. Change our setting back to where it was. We'll fix that last one. Sometimes when you smooth, if there's a thin part in your repair area, it will let you know by revealing itself. Almost done. Okay, we'll just hit that area with the marker. It should all flow back into place. go and there's our hollow earring repair a little bit of rubber wheel work some polish and there we have it <laughs>